Hello folks, in uh, video tutorial 7, I talked about uh, the similarities and the differences and the correspondence between the, the rule and the law in uh, 3D experience and 3 v 5 So, uh, in, in this tutorial, I want to start using some of these things that we discussed in the earlier tutorial to do some specific problems. This particular one is, I'm going to try to create a helix using the law, and the law that I'm using is this version, which allows me to, in fact, input formulas, mathematical expressions. So, uh, although there is a feature available in uh, generative uh, uh, shape designing to create a, 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 a helix directly, I don't want to do that. I want to actually manually create that uh, that helix based on the stuff that uh, we have discussed earlier. So we have a height of 6, the pitch is 2, and the radius is 2. At the very end, when I do this problem, I come back and show you what if we decide instead of specifying the value of r equal to 2 specifically, define r as a parameter and being able to change the parameter along with the stuff that we do uh, for the first few minutes. Uh, the Cathedral V5 version of this, uh, this creation of this helix is actually uh, done with, uh, uh, in this, in this uh, YouTube link. Okay, you may want to look that in case you want to see uh, how, how it works in Cathedral V5. Okay, so here's the situation. Now, obviously, if you're uh, talking about the helix, the expression of the helix based on elementary, uh, you know, uh, second year uh, or third or sec elementary second year uh, uh, vector analysis uh, course in your math uh, math curriculum is given by these things r is the, the 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 radius of the helix and t is a parameter which is has no unit and it goes between zero and one so if uh, if t goes between zero and one this expression will actually give you one uh, complete cycle in other words one of these notice that here I've, uh, I've, I've drawn uh, uh, six loops, uh, three loops actually, but if you go between zero and one, t goes between zero and one, and you use these properties, it just goes a third of the way, okay? Uh, we're gonna fix that later on now. Now, if, you know, if, if you're gonna input these things in uh, uh, 3D experience uh, as a law, uh, you have to make sure the dimensions match. So for example, x must be, X must have unit of length, and that being the case, R must be two inches, for example, and two pi, pi is 3.14, uh, but that's a, that's a number, okay? If you want to may have it, give it a, a unit of radians, you multiply by one radian, and finally multiply it by T. Okay, so these have to be taken into consideration when you input formulas. Uh, now, uh, in, in the CATIA v5 uh, version, if you did this problem, if you go to that tutorial for that tu YouTube link, you see that uh, uh, basically uh, you have to go to, uh, to uh, uh, create a wireframe here, and there is this uh, thing uh, which says curve from equation. Uh, and uh, in the newer releases the, of uh, CATIA v5, uh, definitely after 21 or 21, so we're talking about last maybe six, seven years, uh, this is available. Uh, it was not available in R21, uh, as far as I remember. Now, uh, if we, when, you, when you do this thing in 3D experience, in the generative shape design where this can be found, uh, there is this uh, counterpart of what you see down here, okay? And uh, there's it's down here curve from equations, okay? And... Uh, when you click on this thing, you get that box, which is exactly the same as that box. And in in for x, y, and z, you input the, the laws that you create earlier. Notice that these are the same. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and do this problem. Uh, here is uh, 3D experience. Let's go to uh, generative shape design. All right, there we are. Okay, so I'm going to create... Uh, three laws and the laws that I have to create are like that okay go back to tu tutorial uh, video 7 you notice that in order for me to do this I have to go here 
I have to go here. Now notice that if I click on tools, you will find uh, you will find a law. Uh, uh, when you go to uh, let's see now, you go to uh, uh, oh, right here. It's right there. Okay, so uh, you click on this. Right. Notice that you are here. Click on that. That comes up. Okay, and uh, the the uh, alternative would have been cancel in tutorial on video seven. What I'm saying that you can go here to the generative rules if you want, and uh, if you expand this thing, you also see it there. That is not necessary, but it can be done. You can go there. Uh, we, we can just uh, stay in generative shape design and do this. So let's go back here. Okay, so what happened is that you go to the tools, expand this thing, it's right there. Uh, uh, in, in video seven, I actually made it more complicated by going to that particular uh, workbench, but it's available right, right there. You click on it, and I'm gonna call this thing X actually. Okay, X, uh, X law, how about that? You can call it X law one, or you can call it X, uh, X law, whatever, this is just the name, okay? So we say, okay, there we are. Now, uh, let's create a parameter, real parameter, let's give it the name T, okay? Apply, so it's right there. And then change this thing to length, new parameter, let's call it X. Apply. And now we're going to go and type our stuff. So we have x equal to uh, 2 inches times cosine of cosine of 2 times big P, big I, that is 3.14. But then you have to multiply it by 1 rad to have it any meaning. Rad. Okay and then times t. And you close it, and you say, okay, here is your x law, do another one. This I'm gonna call y law. Okay, and pretty much exactly the same thing, except that instead of a, a, a cosine, you have sine. So uh, let's, let's change this thing to real. Okay, call it T, apply, change it to length, call it Y, apply, go and type your equation, Y equal to 2 inch times, this one is sine of 2 times big P, big I times 1 rad times t. Okay, and hopefully there's no syntax error here, that's okay. Here's your y law, I'll do another one. Call this thing z law. Okay. Uh, let's create our uh, parameter, non-dimensional parameter t. Now create the uh, length parameter, call it Z. Okay, and then we're going to go type. Okay, this is just a comment. I didn't need it, but I would like to re leave it there. Z equal to uh, two uh, two uh, times. Uh, actually, uh, the height, uh, I can do it as, uh, uh, yeah, let's do it like that, 2 times 2 inches times Z, as uh, times T. Now, this will go only one pitch, okay? 
and we say free uh, chat. Okay, good. So now we're going to go to wireframe right here. See that? I showed you in the, the slide right from a curve from equation. And then you put the cursor here or you put the cursor here, right click, insert law. You don't want to create it. You want to, you want to insert law. You just go and select X. You go and select Y. You go and select Z. If you had not done that, you could come do it here uh, when you say insert, okay, or create, or whatever. And we say okay. So this is one loop. Now, if you want this thing to go three loops, so all you have to do is to go and make this thing times three t, okay, times three. Let me write it times t. Oops, no, no, no. Times three. Times three times t. Okay, same thing with the other one. No problem. The other one, same thing. Uh, this is also times uh, times three. Too many times here. Uh, three times t. Okay. And then if you, obviously, if you want to go to six inches, so it has to be six inches high, uh, three times. And that is exactly what I promised you right there. Now, uh, but by the way, if you make this thing, instead of you make it 40, uh, four or five, or whatever, it's going to work extra loop. Now, what I'm going to do, uh, although the, the tutorial is finished, but what I want to do is, Instead of giving the specific value of uh, r equal to 2, I'm going to create a parameter here. So let's go to tools. Uh, I'm looking for f of x right here. f of x, tools, f of x, uh, create a parameter, uh, a parameter, new parameter of type length. Let's call this thing r. And let's give it the value of uh, two. The radius of the helix was two, two inches, right? Two, two inches, it has to be two inches. Okay, so first of all, you see there's a parameter here. Now you go to the X law. Instead of this two, I'm gonna put R here, R. And for the value of R, it's, it's right there. We knows what is what R is, okay? Good. Let's go here. Instead of two, we we'll make this thing R. And for Z, we we'll make this thing R. Good. So now let's change the value of R. R as a parameter here. Let's make it small number so that you can see the difference. Point two. Apply. You can see that right right there. You can see that. See? Point two. Very small. Okay? Uh, the height is still six. This height is still six, but this is point two. So uh, let's make this thing uh, six. No, six inches maybe. Where is it? Whoa, there we are. There we are. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's a, actually, you know what? I just realized something. Uh, let's say, okay, let's go back here, make it 0 0.2, but 0 0.2 inches. I think the fact that I didn't put the, the, the inch there, it screwed it up. Apply. Yeah, maybe. Well, maybe no, that, that's okay. Even if I take this thing and change it to 0.2, I think it automatically changed that. If you go to, for example, let's make it 0.3 without the inches, it still will, not, will, will take it. Yeah. The height is still 6. All right, that takes care of this tutorial. So what I'm going to do, I'm going in the next tutorial, I'm going to come back and... The sine, cosine, and the linear function that I define as a mathematical expression, I'm not going to do that. I will create 
three curves which approximates that without using actually sine and cosine and the linear function uh, exactly as a ex mathematical expression and then use it to repeat the same problem with the law but not with the little f of x uh, written on the icon, okay? Uh, good luck.